Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm gonna be doing a vlog today and it's like a pamper slash glow up kind of vlog. So basically it's my mum's 60th birthday this weekend and although we can't really do much for it, we're gonna mark the occasion and we're doing like a 60s theme. So I am gonna be in a costume so there's no really point in me going all out like this to kind of get ready for it. But seeing as we haven't got much on at the moment, I'm kind of like just taking any opportunity to just go all out and get ready for the weekend, you know, that kind of way. Make myself feel better. I actually love kind of doing all these bits, so. And I love watching these kind of videos, so I thought, why not film one? So there's a few things I'm gonna do. It's Thursday night, but I'm driving to Dublin tomorrow. So that's why I wanna get all the stuff done now before obviously I have to pack up and leave tomorrow. So the first thing I'm gonna do, which is probably kind of boring, but I think it's still important for a big event. And that is I'm gonna wash my hair extensions because I have not washed these in so long. And they kind of start to like piece together if they have too much product build up in them and they just don't look as fresh and bouncy as they you know do when they're freshly cleaned. So this is the first thing I'm gonna do. Probably kind of boring, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. And I always wash them in cold water and I'm using just regular shampoo conditioner. I mean, usually I use a cheaper brand than like my good stuff, but I don't actually have any cheap hair shampoos and stuff at the moment. So they're getting the full on Kerastase treatment today. And you need to wash them in cold water, otherwise it makes them kind of frizzy and yeah, apparently it's much better. Cold water, I try to wash them like every two months-ish. The more you wash them, the longer you get out of them. So this is the before, even though like I'm wearing a costume, like this video is not going up till after the party. So I can say I'm going to Austin Powers. So I'm going to have a wig on. So you're not actually going to see my hair, but like I want to wear them tomorrow and look nice. So I'm going to wash them, they need to be washed anyway. And then I'm going to get into the stuff with my actual body and my actual own hair, etc. Also, I kind of half the extensions and then put a little bobbin around them like this because when you're washing them, it just makes it so much easier. And also, you're not meant to get the top of the extensions like where the clips are wet because it can loosen the clips and kind of make them fall out. So there you go. I have the conditioner in these now. I'm just going to move on to the second set and we're done. When they're washed, I lay them out on a towel like this and then brush through them obviously, just to get out any tangles. And then I'm gonna spray in this, which is like a little leave-in conditioner spray, if that will focus. So it's like a little leave-in conditioner spray from Beauty Works because these are the Beauty Works hair extensions and they're real hair. So obviously you need to take care of them like you would real hair. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit throughout and then brush it all through again. And then I literally hang them up like this. It's so perfect. This is like the little room that we dry our clothes because this radiator comes on. So by the morning, these will be dry. So I don't have to blow dry them because I find when you blow dry them, sometimes they can get like really dry and frizzy. So this way they kind of stay more sleek and smooth if you let them air dry. And I'm pretty sure I got this little hanger on the Beauty Works website, I think. And it comes in like a little case for them or like a little, like a little suit bag for hair extensions. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to my nails, but really quickly I wanna show you the uh, outfit that I got. My little birthday card for my mum, although she's already seen it. So it's kind of ruined, but it's okay. So this is the Austin Powers. So it's a 60s theme, but everyone's going as like just normal 60s little dresses. And I thought, I'll surprise my mum and go as Austin Powers. She loves dress up, so she'll actually get like a good laugh out of that. So yeah, cheap and cheerful, Amazon Prime. Got them literally two days ago or three days ago. Okay, so now I really need to do my nails. Like, I'm actually embarrassed. You've probably seen them already in this video so far. They're so bad. I haven't actually, I'm gonna put this down somewhere. I haven't been doing them because I bought an at-home little shellac machine in lockdown and then I was doing my own shellac. Oh no, I dropped something and dented my table. Um, I was doing my own shellac and then I was peeling it off and I have really weak nails anyway. So then my nails got really weak. So I just left them for a while and kind of just threw on nail polish like once or twice over the last good few weeks. This is them now. Like they actually, if that will even focus. Yeah. They actually look like toes. It's disgraceful. So I need to just put a nice fresh shellac on. And I'm gonna do cream puff, which is a white. And then hopefully my nails, I haven't even pushed back my cuticles and I've just been using my creams on them to strengthen them. And they actually feel really strong. So hopefully I don't ruin them again. So I'm gonna do that. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna watch a little bit of something on my laptop because this is a very long process. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know how bad I usually am or lazy I am when it comes to painting my nails. And I can't be lazy with this because obviously you can't get it off if you mess up. So I'll be back in like three hours. So this is the fabulous before. Like, oh my God, they're horrendous. Ooh. So this is my little setup here. Have my little nail stuff here. And I'm going to put something on on 
Amazon Prime video. So I was looking at this one here called Hunters and I was reading it there and it's a bit of me. So I'm going to put that on and probably get the whole season finished by the time I finish doing my nails because it takes that long. But um, if you haven't looked at Amazon Prime video, they have literally thousands of stuff here, like different movies, series, everything going. And you can sign up for a free trial for seven days and you can cancel at any time. And also then after that, it's $5.99 a month for unlimited streaming. So they have so much. I have this up on my laptop, so it's perfect. You can watch it in bed as well if you prefer or if you're just, you know, like me doing your nails and you take ages but they have so much because I feel like I've exhausted other streaming sites and they just have like fresh stuff on here so this it's actually an Amazon original they have loads of Amazon original content as well which is really good I obviously already have it because I am addicted to Amazon Prime anyone else anyone else literally it's a problem so this is what I'm gonna watch and then I'll show you when I'm finished I'm not focusing sure you don't beef yeah so this is no 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 not that no uh bye now and this is after obviously i'm not a professional nail tech so they're probably not the absolute best but they get me by oh my god i have not had these done in so long i put cuticle cuticle oil on as well i have a little cut there from when i was cutting a bagel just ignore the tan on my hands because obviously we're going to do that tonight as well. But look at the nails. Love it. Okay, so I've just had food. My nails are done. I feel so much better when I have my nails done. Um, I'm going to jump in the shower now because I have instant tan on and kind of like old tan left. So I want to scrub it all off and then I'm going to reapply a fresh layer. So this is the tan I'm going to use when I'm out. The Sandra Pay Extra Dark. If you have not tried it, I highly, highly recommend. It's so good. It has more of an olive undertone, so it makes you look more kind of like goldeny, natural as opposed to orange. And if you have like more pinky Irish skin, the green will kind of cancel out the pink and make you look more golden. So I love it. And then also because I need to wash my hair, but I don't want to wash it now for Saturday. I'm going to put a mask in tonight. So I'm going to use this, where's it gone? This one here. It's the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Mask. I've also tried the Elasticizer Extreme, which I think I prefer just because my hair is actually quite coarse and very dry. And I did just get my color done. So I want to keep using the masks to keep my hair as healthy as possible. I'll put that mask in tonight and then I'll wash it out in the morning and put purple shampoo in, kind of tone my hair and then style my hair tomorrow. Also, I'm just going to show you what I use to scrub my tan off. These um, exfoliating gloves from Boots. And then I use a body exfoliator with them for the first few times and it kind of like roughens them up more and then they stay really, really rough so they, they exfoliate better so you don't have to scrub as hard. So yeah, I'm going to scrub myself shave do all that type of stuff now and then when i get out of the shower i'm gonna apply this all over it's the cerave moisturizing lotion so this is oil free and um, but i apply this all over let it sink in for about half an hour and then i apply my tan because it stops your skin from drying out too much helps your tan go on more even helps it fade more even and something else oh yeah you know like sometimes tan gets caught in little dots in your legs like your pores i find that if i apply the moisturizer all over and if i wait for like an hour after i shower my pores are kind of like closed up a bit more and it stops the tan um sinking into the pores and it stops those little dots because i actually hate them i get them so bad because i'm always just rushed straight out of the shower doing my tan so this is the before of my tan like you can see all the instant tans caught where my watch was and i need to like exfoliate a lot of it off look at that hate that feeling i usually wait until all of my previous tan is off before i apply new tan but i just don't have the time to do that today so i'm just gonna apply a little bit more on top of what is already there so there's gonna be a tiny bit left over which kind of kills myself a little bit but we're just gonna deal with it okay i'm gonna turn this off when i get into the shower okay so this is after i've scrubbed myself in the shower and i'm nice and pink as you can see but i have a little rash here which is annoying and where my strap was i have such sensitive skin which is very irritating probably not a deal to put tan on but we're gonna do it anyway Okay, I need just to bring this downstairs because, by the way, I know I look absolutely crazy. This is the process, okay? But everyone's asleep, so I was kind of talking quietly in my last clip, I think. And that's the sink. Because Tom's asleep in the room and Gav is asleep upstairs, so I don't want to be like talking too loud. But yeah, I just did my tan. I'm going to talk you through the face situation in a minute, but trust me. It works. I'll show it in the bathroom in the same light that I had um, my arm before so you can like properly tell the difference and then I'll show it again in the morning. Okay so I know the face looks absolutely crazy but what I do is I brought it down so I can show you so I can actually talk through. I use the Saint Tropez, what's this? Self-tan purity vitamins, glow boosting vitamin C and D 
face serum which is a clear serum and then i apply it with just this uh duo fiber foundation brush all over my face then i take my mitt whatever's left on my mitt from doing my body and basically just apply that on my forehead as you can see and like underneath my cheekbones i kind of like top two thirds of my face because i find a lot of the time when people fake tan when they do their face it's like darker down here and then when you wash your face the next day it just looks unnatural because naturally the sun sits you hits you kind of up here so to kind of balance that out i put an extra layer of dark tan up here and then when you wash your face obviously it's not near as intense as this but it balances out and looks really nice it kind of gives a contour to the face i also usually take a baby wipe now but i just wanted to talk through this first and i'll wipe all the tan completely off my elbows off my knuckles my wrists my eyebrows so you'll have like a big white patch really but when you wash your face the next morning it's not obvious so I take it off my eyebrows off my hairline and I always sleep with a hairband in not this one it's like a softer kind of one that's not as uh tight because I don't want to ruin my hairline or damage my hairline but it just stops my blonde hair around my hairline rubbing against the color guide on this tan here and staining my hair it's a process I know but it's worth it in the end so that is it for me for tonight. This is going to continue to the next morning because I have a few more bits. I want to tint and laminate my brows tomorrow and uh, tone my hair as well. I'm just going to marinate for the night now and then wake up bronze goddess. Also the white nails with the tan glow up for my hands already. Okay, I'm talking low because everyone's asleep. But this is it. One layer in the same light and then it will be dark in the morning. I can put a second layer on if I want to be extra dark, but I'm okay with this. Good morning. This is how I wake up. Look at that. Wow. But yeah, this is the tan on my face developed. Obviously I have to wash it off so it's not going to look as blotchy even still. I actually put my teeth whitening in as well last night. I wonder if you can, if you can probably see. So this is like the professional teeth. I'm gonna hold this up. It's the professional teeth whitening from the dentist. Teeth in my teeth in the same color as my nails. So it's super strong, but my bottom teeth are still not as white as my top teeth. So I'm trying to match them up. I really need to fix my hairband. Okay, so my plan now is I'm gonna pack before I do anything else. Hold on. Why wow, I'm really exposing myself in this video. Like seriously, it doesn't get much worse than this. So here you go. But yeah, I'm gonna pack now before it's too late because i don't need to pack for that long just like two or three days then i'm gonna do my eyebrows no i'll do my eyebrows and then have a shower anyway it doesn't really matter that i'm gonna do both of those things and i'll kind of show you when i'm doing my eyebrows i'm gonna tint the first laminate tone my hair by the end of the vlog i'll actually look like a different person but look who's here this morning this little nugget hello this is his favorite spot he just watches everyone and barks everyone, don't you? Don't you just bark at everyone? You little grump. Okay, so we are out of the shower. And I look actually paler in this light, which is kind of annoying because I'm most definitely not. But after the shower, I moisturize my whole body with this, the Aveeno Lavender Scent. So good. And it makes your skin really soft. Because obviously after tan, you need to moisturize all over to keep your tan looking his best. Because I have a bit of a tan addiction, I put on instant tan and I use the Vita Liberata body blur in latte dark, so it is quite dark. Don't know why I don't look dark here, but we're dark. And this is the tan on my face, so I haven't done my skincare yet because I'm going to do my brows. You can see it like evens out. So you look crazy the night before, but the next day it's worth it because it looks fine. So I'm going to move on to my brows. This is a little brow kit that I use. It's from Swiss Au Par. It's the only one that does not give me an allergic reaction because I'm allergic to brow tint, which is great. But thank God I have this. So there are stronger ones, but I just can't use them. So this is what I use and I just pick it up in... Which one do I get this in? I can't remember which pharmacy. But just in regular pharmacies. So my brows, I only tinted probably like 10 days ago, so they're not that bad. And I just use this little makeup brush here. It's double-ended with this foolie and a little right angle but you just really need this part and i'm just gonna do this as normal so we're gonna use a little step one here and then i literally i know this is not the best angle so just bear with me but i just brush it in sometimes this catcher is really strong and i get like actual thick rays and it stains my skin and then sometimes i have to do it like three times over so i never know what i'm gonna get so hopefully it's okay today so you leave that on for a minute 
and then you go on with step two and then you're done. So hopefully it picks up okay this time because I'm not doing it three times today. No. Okay, so now we move on to step two, which is just a little gel. Use the same brush and you can see like as you tap in the liquid on that. Okay, I have to concentrate for this bit. Please work. Okay, we're done. Fab. So you're meant to kind of wash this off or like wipe it off straight away, but I leave it on for a bit and just pray that it doesn't stain like this. I actually can't believe I'm videoing this right now. What am I actually doing? Let's all pray right now that this doesn't stain my skin like this because it has happened before. So I'm going to use whatever's left on the brush on my lashes just to give them a little tint as well. I kind of do this because I'm too lazy to actually do it properly on my lashes and I find that this works. But I use the black kit because I find with the brown one when it fades, it fades really warm. I don't really want that, especially if I fake tan and fake tan gets in my brows, it looks even warmer. So the black one has more of an ashy undertone which I just prefer, even though it's like way too dark because my roots are fair. But look, beggars can't be choosers, there's only two colors, so that's my only choice. Okay, we're gonna wipe it off. <laughs> I never know what I'm gonna get, so let's see. This is just cotton pads with um, my set of water, so. Here we go. Okay, thank God. Okay, we're good. So that is my brace. Done. I'm gonna wipe my lashes now as well. So next we're gonna move on to the brown emanation. So I bought this kit, I can't even remember the website. I feel like you might need to be professional to buy from this website, but somehow I got it. So I don't know if I'm gonna link it below just in case people get it and then, you know, buy it themselves or something. So I'm sure you can find it on your own. If you don't know much about it, don't try it. My ears are literally poking out this whole time, great. So it actually is for lash lift, but I use it on my brows because it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe that's why it didn't work though, because maybe it's not the same thing. But anyway, we're gonna give it a go again. Okay, first step is on, I'm gonna set a timer. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes are counting. Of course, I went downstairs to make my breakfast and all the lads were here, so that's great, love that. Okay, I'm gonna move on to step two, which is the fix one. Step two is on just when I thought it couldn't look any worse. We do. So I'm gonna leave this one on, how long does it say? So 12 to 15 minutes again, but I'm gonna leave it on for 25, just because Last time didn't really work, so I'm gonna take a risk. Okay, so next step is to remove, I actually look crazy, is to just remove all of this with a damp cotton pad. Okay, well they definitely have a lift anyway. We just don't know if they actually suit me, but you can like brush them down if you don't want them to be like crazy spiky. I think brain lamination, I always thought it's just like kept though, kept them permanently up but you kind of have to like push them up yourself. So you can wear them normal or you can wear them more kind of like lifted if you want. I'm gonna do my makeup now and then I'll be able to judge properly and then I'll show you. I forgot to say, while I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna put in a little teeth whitening strip. So one of the spotlight ones and I'm just gonna use it on my lower teeth because like I said, my lower teeth aren't as white as my upper teeth. Okay, I'm gonna come back in here because it's easier to compare if it's in the same lighting. That's not messy in the background. So this is it after i don't know tom says he likes it but i think he's lying just to make me feel better because i don't really think i don't know i did use the soap rays when i was doing my makeup as well just to like really enhance it so this is it like brushed up to the full amount i'm not mad at it i just don't know let me know in the comments i'm sure people will let me know whether they like it or not but what do you think so my hair extensions are actually still wet. So what I'm gonna do is actually drive to Dublin now and then I'll finish my hair when I'm there. And then that will be the end of the transformation. Finally. By the way, these are how the extensions dry. So they have like a natural wave in them. So if you've naturally wavy hair, it's like perfect if you let them dry naturally. They're basically just kind of damp up here, obviously, because that's where the hanger is kind of holding them. So it's not getting as much air. I'll link down below the exact ones that I have. This is the OOTD, by the way, even though it's literally lashing out. So if I get caught in the rain when I'm filling up my petrol. My tan's gonna come off because I have a bit of instant on. I love that. I'll link down below where I got all these. This is H&M, these are Aloe Yoga, and these are really old Adidas that I washed and now they've changed color because they're sweet. Okay, we are back in Dublin and I kept in my hair extensions and styled my hair. So I used my steam pod because it's less damaging on the hair and because it uses steam, it kind of gives like softer, I just prefer the result with it. You guys know I'm obsessed with it if you watched my last video as well. So this is our after. I'm still not sure about the eyebrows. They're kind of growing on me, I'm not gonna lie. 
but I feel like Tom was definitely lying when he said like them, so I'm gonna just double check with them. You know, sometimes they say what they think you wanna hear. I feel like you did that, but anyway. Did I put on the ring light for this bit? Yes, I did. And this ring light's real blue undertone, so my hair looks proper like ashy gray now compared to earlier when the light was like warmer because it was natural light, so. So with the braids, you can brush them up and make them more fluffy if you want, or you can kind of like tame them. So this is them brushed up with the soap braids as well, so they're extra fluffy. But why not, you know? So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did show quite a few bits, so. Hopefully there's something for everyone. Let me know in the comments down below what videos you want me to film and what you'd like to see because I'm always open for ideas. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, and yeah, that's pretty much it for me. See you in my next one, bye. My mom's party's not even till tomorrow, so I'm literally going to sit in the couch now, eat some food, and then take off all my makeup and put my hair in a bun. But you know what? There's not much going on at the moment. We need to make the most out of what we can do. And it's fun to kind of get dressed up, you know, that way. Don't need an excuse. Just go all out, do all of our bits. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and stop the video. Bye.